To prepare your happy 1501 HED2 for sewing on ball caps, let's follow these steps. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the regular sewing arms that hold the conventional hoops. There's one on each side, and what we'll do is we'll loosen the two 3mm hex screws right here with, a, with our 3mm hex wrench that actually comes with the machine. We simply need to loosen them, and the arm comes off without you having to remove the screw. Do the same for the other side. And again, just loosening the screw. And with the arms removed, we now have space in front of the machine to install the cap driver. And this is what you see here that comes in its own box along with two cap hoops and a stretcher. And what we want to do is slide this uh, onto the machine. There is a square shaped opening for, to get you oriented here. That square shaped opening fits around uh, the rotary hook arm here below the needles. So we'll go ahead and slide that on. And it's supposed to meet the two back plates back here. And actually the plate for this should fit underneath. And also uh, the lower plate and arm, supporting arm should fit um, between these two plates. So that's our goal. And we're, we're gonna hold that in place with two thumb screws here and two thumb screws on the reverse side. The, the thumb screws may or may not come separated from your kit. So uh, when you do find your cap driver, make sure you install them and they can actually stay here on the cap driver and there's no need to remove them. All right, before we do that, uh, the next thing we want to do is go to the control panel and tell the machine that, the, uh, that we are installing the cap driver and that's going to do a number of things to the machine and change the way it behaves so that it works better with a cap driver. So one of the things we'll do is here, for, as you can see from the main sewing screen, we're going to go to, to uh, the button to uh, reposition the design and also choose your hoop. So we're going to go to change here to change hoops. This shows you the different categories of hoops that are available. We're going to choose the, the cap hoop uh, category. And on the right side, you have available types of cap hoops. The machine itself comes with the wide cap uh, system. So we're going to choose wide cap, which gives you about a three and a half inch by 14 inch sewing field. And you can actually see that represented here. For example, if we choose the standard, we have a more limited field. We go to the cap, wide cap and we have a much wider field. Once that's chosen, we'll go ahead and escape back out one screen. It's going to remind us that we need to remove the arms, which we already have. And the next thing we want to do is if we look at the machine itself, the, um, the X carriage here is um, normally able to move through a much wider range than what the cap sewing system will allow. So what we want to do is first limit the movement to, the, to that sewing range. And, do, and doing so, your normal center button up here, which centers the hoop in the available sewing area, we'll just press, press that. It's called P center. And what that's done is it's moved the arm a lot closer up within the normal range of travel for the cap uh, driver itself. So what we're going to do is we're, we're going to go ahead and begin installing that cap driver. So from, a, uh, from our uh, lower perspective here, let's be able to slide that on. So we're going to mate our cap driver up, slide that onto the rotary hook arm. And what we're looking for to get a quick close-up of the upper left side thumb screw here. We're going to slide that thumb screw so that it aligns into the slot here. You'll see a little symbol for a cap on the, in the, on the stickers on the machine. And remember, we want to get the lower plate down here up and over into the, uh, above, this, uh, above that lower horizontal bar. But the upper plate for the cap driver itself slides underneath the sash here, the metal sash. And you can see that also an alignment screw head here and, the, and also the, uh, the thumb screws both slide into a slot. So we're going to do that on the other side too as well. Again, remember that the, the lower L-shaped plate should fit above that. So what we're going to do is take a shot of that so that you can see exactly what you're going for. So looking underneath the machine, this is properly in place. And what we've done is 
right here what, what I'm pointing to is when you're sliding this on this lower plate needs to come up and into uh, and above this uh, this lower plate here so again this inverted L-shaped plate has to loop up and over this lower plate and sit there flush so again push it in all the way back and then go ahead and snug up your thumb screw to lock that in place this lower L-shaped plate helps hold the uh, the cab driver in the correct position so it's important that you have that flush and we're going ahead and tightening that on both sides and also we'll go ahead and now tighten the upper thumb screw here as well on both sides as well Okay, you want to get them about finger tight, and if, especially if you're going to be sewing at high speeds or, or sewing a lot of projects. It helps a lot to get a quarter or a dime, and there's a slot in, the th in all four of the thumb screws. You can take the clip that comes with the, the cap hoop, or again, a quarter or a dime, put it in the slot. It gives you a le little leverage to tighten it down a little bit more, and that helps assure that even during high speed that the, that the cap driver remains uh, nice and in place and you get good accurate sewing. Okay, once that's set up, you're pretty much ready to go. And all we need to do is mount a properly hooped cap, uh, mated with a design designed for caps, and you're ready to go cap sewing with your ACD2-1501.